Hi guys, so the First Minister Nicola Sturgeon slapped down a question from a Daily Mail journalist who asked why the Scottish Government isn't doing more to help people out financially, during the pandemic of course. From her expression as he began you could tell that she had dealings with this journalist before. The Daily Mail are obviously anti-SNP, anti-independence, but his question actually perhaps made the point of why Scotland should be independent. Let's hear the journalist get telt. Afternoon. Um, do you agree with those in the hospitality sector that say that what they are experiencing just now is lockdown by stealth? Um, and you've, you've announced £66 million of support for them, which I think will amount to a few thousand pounds per premises. Um, is that really uh, enough to, to help them? Can you not find any more in the budget that you are uh, currently putting through Parliament? Um, and also, if, if you can't find any further funding at the moment, is there anything else that can be done to help, um, such as uh, helping them with uh, the impact of self-isolation for staff? Could you cut the requirement for self-isolation? Yeah, that would really help because that would spread infection even further and that would be not doing any favours to businesses. I, I don't know if you've listened to a single word I said, uh, Michael. Um, I don't think it's enough, but we found £100 million out of a fixed budget having to take that from elsewhere. If we have to do, and also we found an additional £100 million to help with self-isolation payments. But every penny we now take, I don't know where you think I should take it from. The health service, the education budget, the justice budget. We don't have, when the UK government makes these schemes available right now, they're not taking it from any of these budgets, they're borrowing it. If I had the borrowing powers the Treasury had, I would be able to do that. And it's a sensible thing to be doing right now to help shield the economy from the pressures of this. I don't have those borrowing powers, so I can only look to the Treasury to use them. And it will be uh, unconscionable, frankly, given what we're facing right now, if the Treasury doesn't very quickly start to use these things. So that's the position. It's not a political statement I'm making. It's a statement of the funding arrangements that are in place in the UK right now. The First Minister of Wales is making exactly the same points. The First Minister of Northern Ireland, uh, hardly somebody of a, a nationalist uh, uh, sort of mindset, is making exactly the same points right now. This is just a feature of how funding in the UK uh, works. And I think even for the Daily Mail, that should not be impossible to get your heads around. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, even for the Daily Mail. Now, as I said, the Daily Mail is anti-SNP, anti-independence. Um, and they know that, you know, Scotland, the Scottish government are not able to raise taxes in the same way that uh, the UK government can. And they also know that they can't borrow in the same way as the UK government can. Like, this is... Uh, this is from the SNP, but it's true. It says here, the Scottish Parliament currently has no control over many taxes. So here are the, the list of taxes that they can't increase. Fuel duty, oil and gas receipts, capital gains tax, national insurance, corporation tax, VAT levels, uh, taxes on cigarettes, alcohol, inheritance tax, UK retained income tax. These are all controlled by Westminster. So Rishi Sunak can raise taxes on these things. Rishi Sunak can borrow to his heart's content, but the Scottish government can't. And it seems once again of a, ca a case of media failing here. The, the Daily Mail understand this. If they don't, then there's some serious problems with the Daily Mail. But they truly, they do understand this. And they're trying to play politics, score political points for who? For the Tories, because, you know, attacking the SNP on this during the middle of a pandemic, who benefits from that? Well, Boris Johnson and the Tories. So the Daily Mail playing politics for on behalf of the Conservative Party. He knows, as I said, he knows that the Scottish Parliament can't raise these taxes and they can't borrow in the same way as Rishi Sunak. But they're just asking these questions to try and make... Nicola Sturgeon look bad. She's, she's more popular than Boris Johnson. That's a problem for them. And they need to do something about it. And asking stupid questions like this isn't really working. And the fact that she said, we can't do this like the UK government, 
in a way reinforces the point that maybe Scotland would be better off independent because it would be able to raise all these taxes and it would be able to borrow to its heart's content, just like Rishi Sunak. So I think she really tells this guy. So let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.